Thank you, Robert Allen. Uh, you're our Lifetime Achievement Award winner for 2022. How does that make you feel? What is the significance of that? I am uh, incredibly honored uh, by, by this award. Um, the one, one, one reaction I had was, you know, there's one, one hopes that with receiving such a, an award, one's lifetime is not over, nor is one's ability to achieve over. Uh, but uh, I've had a career of more than 50 years in this industry and to be recognized uh, by all of my peers in, in this industry. Uh, and we are a tugboat family around the world. It's a very small and tight community. And to be recognized for that is, is very humbling and, and I'm greatly honored. Uh, it's, uh, I relived the moment more than a few times last night. So. What do you think have been your key achievements in that 50 years of life in this sector? Um, I think our biggest contribution probably has been in the development of uh, significant designs for escort towing. Uh, you know, we, we developed a design concept, uh, uh, both hull form and a propulsion configuration that it really enabled the use of Z-Drive propulsion in serious escorting, which had previously been the preserve of Voith propulsion. And we've designed many Voith tugs uh, and they have great attributes, but there was a demand uh, for Z-Drive escort tugs. And uh, that wasn't an easy problem to solve. Uh, but uh, so I, th I think our contribution there is, has been significant. Um, what else? I, I, it's 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 been a it's been a long and really kind of a joyous journey, uh, you know, to to spend an entire fifty plus year career getting accolades for drawing votes is I, I can't I can't think of uh, a, a more rewarding uh, career, and it's uh, it's it's been a joy. Um, it's also been a huge pleasure and uh, privilege for me to see my family company's name and tradition being carried on by a really powerful and dedicated team of, of younger professionals. Um, that Maybe that's the, the best thing for me is that, uh, you know, whatever I achieved is just another stepping stone on the, the company's uh, development uh, into a world-class business, and uh, that makes me hugely proud. So, uh, you, throughout the three days of uh, ITS 2022, the 26th uh, International Tug and Salvage Convention, what do you think have been the key takeaways for you? Uh, I think, as I, as I said at the, the conclusion here, the, uh, the overwhelming theme uh, of, of change uh, has been, uh, I guess I hadn't quite anticipated that it would be such a, such a dominant theme, but we are, we are at a crossroads. We have to change the, the way in which the world works and, and you know, our tugboat part of, of that. Um, tugs are such a vital part of the world supply chain operation. You know, we've seen that in the ever given incident that, you know, if, if we hadn't had adequate tug power, you know, we'd still be choked at one of the world's major shipping arteries. Um, the world's populace needs to understand how important tugs are. We need, we need to do our job in telling that story too. Um, but, but so we're changing now. We're, we're having to recognize our uh, role in uh, contributing to climate change and reversing that uh, that role and, and finding better pathways forward. It's an incredibly exciting time for a whole new generation of young naval architects and engineers to, to solve those problems. And, uh, so I hope that, uh, you know, in my time here in the last 50 years, which sort of started with the very earliest Z-Drive tugs. I, I, in my first job, I worked on some of the very earliest uh, tugs with Z-Drives. And 
and now we're into this whole sea change into new fuels, new propulsion technologies, new propulsion configurations. Um, hugely challenging, hugely interesting. Um, and uh, I, I look forward to watching from the sidelines and admiring what's going to happen. Thank you very much. My pleasure.